Hi guys, um, today uh, I'm just going to take you through a quick video on how to get XBMC up and running on your Mac. Uh, this also works the same for um, PC Windows based. So the first thing you need to uh, go to is obviously the internet and you need to obviously go to the XBMC website which you'll see is the top search and you basically want to go to the downloads and you want to download obviously the Pacific uh, one for your uh, PC or your Mac. So once you've done that, uh, like any download, uh, make sure it's all set up ready on your PC or Mac. As you can see down the bottom left hand, uh, right hand corner, I've already downloaded this. So we'll um, skip this bit, but basically yes, what you do is download and it's straight on your desktop. Um, then you can start using XBMC with all its good features, but uh, like myself, if you want to put some cool add-ons on there, uh, like for some uh, movies and some sports, uh, then I'll show you how to do this as well. So basically, you just need to go into Google, and all you need to type is unofficial, uh, XBMC repositories, which is that one there and it's the top search and here you'll see uh, a full list of all the repositories uh, with the names, uh, the zip files you need and a little bit of description about them. Uh, so basically uh, just pick one you want. Um, so for instance for example I've already downloaded one as you can see on my desktop uh, and that's what you want to do is just hit the zip and as you'll see it will jump in there, jump in my downloads and I've just extracted it onto my desktop. So once you've done that, you can close down the web page, head over to your XBMC, let it load up, and now this is how you're going to get that file onto XBMC to uh, play. So we'll go over to uh, System, go to Add-ons, Install Zip File, and then it will give you uh, some options on where this file could possibly be. Obviously we know it's on the desktop and they will see it. Uh, all you need to do is click on that and it will say in the bottom right hand corner that it's installed. I've already installed this onto my XBMC so I'll probably not see that. Once you've done that you go to get add-ons as you'll see the repository sitting there. Click on that. Video add-ons and this one has got the uh, one channel which is for all the movies that I enjoy on my Apple TV and on my Mac and my iPad and iPhone. Um, click on that and then it will go to enabled and then you need to uh, backspace all the way to the um, menu and you want to go over to your videos. Video add-ons because this is what we've added to this and as you'll see I've got quite a few on here uh, but obviously one channel's at the top, click on that uh, let's try this out, go to uh, movies, go to say featured which is all the new movies out. It will load a directory and then you'll see all the uh, movies. So let's click one for example, I don't know, the Expendables 2. Gives you loads of files obviously you can choose from so we'll just click on one. As you can see now the film's loaded and at the top here uh, you'll get a bit of buffering. Once it's buffered to around 100% it will start playing um, or you can go ahead and play like this. But as you can see you've got the Expendables 2 playing and that's it really guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said it works on uh, Windows and this is also what you will get on an Apple TV. So uh, for you guys who haven't got an Apple TV 2 that's uh, jailbreakable. Um, if you've got a Mac or a PC then obviously you can still enjoy the uh, great viewings you can uh, get on the Apple TV on XBMC. Don't forget to rate and subscribe.